Welcome to this video, Azure Cost Management Setup, Organization and Tagging, Part A, Setting Up for Success. My name is Terry Clancy. Azure Cost Management is a native Azure service designed to allow customers and partners to gain complete visibility and control of their cloud spend across Azure and Amazon Web Services. This is the first part of a four-part video series which covers setting up Azure environments and hierarchies, RBAC access and the required settings, and reporting by dimensions and tags. In this video, we'll cover setting up your Azure environment to best support Azure systems generally and Azure cost management specifically. The Cloud Adoption Framework is a recommended approach to guide cloud adoption in Azure. It consolidates and shares best practices from Microsoft employees, partners, and customers. The framework gives customers a set of tools, guidance, and assets that help shape technology, business, and people management strategies. Those that are most important and relevant to cost management are shown here in yellow. Cost management should be a consideration across the entire cloud adoption framework lifecycle. When setting up Azure, the recommended approach is to navigate to the Quick Start Center, which you can find by searching for Quick Start. Once there, you can use the many tools available, but the place to start is with the Azure Setup Guide. As you can see here, this provides step-by-step -step guidance and helpful links and covers the organization of resources into hierarchies, the management of access to your Azure environment with role-based access controls or RBAC, guidance on managing costs, guidance on governance, security, and compliance in Azure, guidance on monitoring and reporting, and resources for staying current with Azure and up to date with changes in the Azure platform. From the very beginning of the life cycle, solutions should be architected to minimize costs and to facilitate easier cost management. For example, maybe your business would benefit from selecting more platform as a service or PaaS services rather than infrastructure as a service or IaaS services such as VMs, as this may reduce costs because you only pay for what you use when you're using it, and there's less need to shut down services when not in use. Architecting solutions in a modular manner that align with organization and cost center boundaries can also help in cost management and justifying and securing funding. Before you move from architecture to implementation, it is important to define your corporate naming conventions. Well-defined naming and metadata tagging conventions help IT staff quickly find and manage resources. Well-defined names and tags can also help align cloud usage costs with business teams. Naming standards should be defined very early in the life cycle to avoid non-compliant names right from the start. Let's look at how tags can be used for cost management. Management. Azure tags allow you to add metadata to resources and to resource groups to help you logically organize them into multiple taxonomies. They are important for cost management because they allow multiple categorizations of resources so you can look at resource costs from different perspectives. Simply put, a tag is a name value pair. For example, if you define a custom tag with the name, sometimes called a key, such as environment, then that tag can have different or identical values on different resources. For example, on five different resources, it might have the values like dev, test, engineering, or sales. What tags you use depends on your business and technical requirements. There is a maximum of 50 tags per resource, so don't go crazy, and we suggest you leave room for later additions. We do suggest you always tag resources with owner, cost center, and department. On the right-hand side of this slide, you can see some other examples of tags that are commonly used. Note that if you are using Azure Cost Management with Amazon Web Services or AWS, you can still use tags, but you need to create and apply the tags to your resources within AWS. But tags are only really useful if they can be used comprehensively and consistently across the organization. Otherwise, you'll see a lot of untagged resources, as you can see here in the gray. 
So, once the standard is set, then Azure users should enforce the correct use of tags with Azure Policy. Azure Policy helps you manage and prevent IT issues with policy definitions that enforce rules and effects for your resources. So those resources stay compliant with your corporate standards and service level agreements. Azure Policy evaluates your resources for non-compliance with assigned policies. For example, you can have a policy to allow a certain SKU size of virtual machines in your environment. Once this policy is implemented, new and existing resources are evaluated for compliance. In relation to cost management, there are existing policies in Azure that you can use to enforce tags with values on resource groups, apply a tag and its value to a resource, or enforce a tag and its value. There is also a policy available on GitHub which simulates inheritance of tags from resource groups to resources with a copy. You should also consider bundling multiple policies into tagging initiatives and deploying them. That way, you can update the initiative with any changes. An Azure initiative definition is a collection of policy definitions that are tailored towards achieving a singular overarching goal. Initiative definitions simplify managing and assigning policy definitions. They simplify by grouping a set of policies as a single item. For example, this billing tags policy initiative sample includes a set of policies which require specified tags tag values for cost center and product name. It uses built-in policies to apply and enforce the required tags while allowing you to specify the required values for those tags. To further standardize and streamline the creation and deployment of new environments that adhere to corporate standards, consider using Azure Blueprints. Azure Blueprints can help you go one step further to standardizing deployments with the knowledge you're building within organizational compliance and at the same time speed up development and delivery. This benefits deployments generally, but is particularly important to ensure that cost analysis is manageable and accurate. Blueprints are a declarative way to encapsulate, deploy, and update cloud environments in a repeatable manner using composable artifacts such as role assignments, policy assignments, Azure Resource Manager templates, and resource groups. Unlike ARM templates, with Blueprints, the relationship between the Blueprint definition, what should be deployed, and the Blueprint assignment, what was deployed, is preserved. This connection supports improved tracking and auditing of deployments. With Blueprints, you can also upgrade several subscriptions at once that are governed by the same Blueprint. This brings me to the end of Azure Cost Management, Setup, Organization and Tagging, Part A, Setting Up for Success. All the best with Azure Cost Management.